So a bit of news coming out of Russia here today. To be so Machunu wins a 12-round unanimous decision and a pretty clear-cut unanimous decision by the looks of things over Denis Lebedev. Denis Lebedev, who we all may know, um, 40 years old now, Denis Lebedev, career cruiserweight, former long reign and WBA cruiserweight champion, unified that title uh, after a while, and then obviously lost to Mora Kasiev. And since then, he's had three fights, and apparently, last year, uh, after the Monaco show, which was an Eddie Hearn show, he retired. He retired as WBA champion, and this fight, not a lot of people knew about this fight, this kind of went under the radar, Machunu versus Lebedev, but yes, this fight happened today. Machunu won on a 12-round UD, scorecards of 115-112. Okay, now that to me, I'm going to tell you why now in a sec, that to me is a hometown scorecard, because... Basically, 115-112 implies that this is a 5-7 fight for Machunu. And the other two scorecards read 120-107 and 119-108. So one judge found no rounds to give to Lebedev, one found five. The other one found run. So I'd imagine this was a fairly clear-cut win for Machunu. There's a 10-8 round in there as well, um, given the fact that there's an extra point. So, yeah, he he beat Lebedev from pillar to post, it seems. Uh, to Dennis Lebedev, not the biggest cruiserweight in the world. He's only five foot eleven, maybe five foot ten at a push. Southpaw. Machunu is even shorter. He's listed at five eleven. If you've ever seen the Bisu Machunu fight, you will know he is nowhere near five eleven. I'm telling you now because I've seen Machunu fight. He's closer. He's about five eight. This is a very small, small cruiserweight. Machunu is built like a tank. His name is The Rock. His nickname is The Rock, and that is exactly what he is. He is like a machine, the way this guy looks, Machunu, very long arms for his height, very good, very slick boxer, southpaw, yes, he has lost a couple of times, he lost uh, early on in his career, he was also stopped by Ilunga Makabu, I watched that fight, that fight's on YouTube, Machunu was beating the crap out of Makabu in that fight, he just gassed, he just gassed and got stopped. And it wasn't even more so concussive from the punches. It was more so fatigue. Obviously, he lost to Usek. That was such an impressive performance from Usek. Seriously, it was. And, you know, since then, there's been, he's been mainly fighting down in South Africa, mainly. And obviously, stepped up to face Lebedev, you know, nine years younger. A lot fresher, because Lebedev's been in some wars. And he goes over to Russia and, you know, schooled him. By the looks of things, by this scorecard anyway, by these scorecards anyway. So, yeah, there was talk... Was it last year or was it this year? I think there was talk at some stage last year and early on this year about Lebedev facing Akali, Lawrence Akali. I mean, thank God that fight didn't happen. Could you imagine what Lawrence Akali would have done to Lebedev? Seriously. Akali, much bigger puncher than Machunu, way bigger in general. Like, he would have dwarfed Lebedev. Could you imagine what Akali would have done? I know Lebedev's a veteran, but he's seen better days. You know, he's seen better days when he fought Kasiev. That was three years ago now. So, yeah, a quick little video on this. I could not find any footage of this fight at all. And I would have loved to have seen it because, you know, some of those cars over in Russia are quite good, believe it or not. And, yeah, not the first African to go over to Russia and, you know, be upset one of the guys. I know Makabu's done it twice this year. Dmitry Kudryashov was on this bill. Dmitry Kudryashov, the Russian fighter who, you know, won all of his fights by knockout. And he'd lost all of his fights by knockout. Uh, he fought a guy, Vacheslav Pezar. I know the guy. He fought David Price. He knocked out that Craig Glover guy. I think who else has he fought? Kuzman. He's fought Kuzman. I think he fought Tom Schwartz. <laughs> he went the distance with Tom Schwartz. Um, so that's the guy that Kudryashov fought. Kudryashov beat him on a split decision. And quite a close split decision at that. So, you know, that was the card over there in Russia in a nutshell. So... That was my thoughts on this. Just a quick update video on it. Let me know what you think down below. What would Lawrence Akali have done to Lebedev had they fought? Let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, of course, if you did. Subscribe if you're new, of course. And as always, I will talk to you after.